What is diffusion tensor imaging, or DTI? How does it work? Diffusion tensor imaging is, or DTI, is a specialized form of MRI. It's a specialized form of MRI, but it's not synonymous with MRI. Very important because we have talked to attorneys before and they said, well, my client's already had an MRI, so I guess I don't need DTI. That would be a mistake. Yes, DT, uh, DTI is a specialized form of MRI, but it's never synonymous with the word MRI. When people refer to MRI, that's sort of standard plain vanilla MRI that looks at gross anatomy. It doesn't see the microscopic white matter connections, which is what DTI does. So DTI, it is a specialized form of MRI, meaning it used a magnetic impulse. There's no radiation involved. This is a nod in favor of DTI versus other types of imaging like CT scanning that does use radiation. Uh, so it's, it's safer and more innocuous in that sense. So DTI is a specialized form of MRI. In addition, DTI, what it does is observe the position and motion of water molecules inherent to the brain. This is great because nothing has to be injected. Other types of studies, oftentimes things have to be injected. Again, these things aren't necessarily toxic, but they're still exogenous substances that do entail some risk and some invasiveness. So again, a nod in favor of DTI scanning. No radiation, nothing needs to be injected. So it's a specialized form of MRI. And using complex algorithms and data and settings, what it allows us to do is indirectly visualize the white matter tracks in the brain. So the white matter tracks in the brain are the microscopic tracks that make up who you are as a person. Your personality, your education, your memory, the way you speak, the way you sleep, everything. It, whether you can concentrate and think through problems, all of that is in this substance between our ears here, uh, gelatinous substance, and it's made through billions and billions and billions of connections. What happens in traumatic brain injury often is at the microscopic level, these connections are severed or cut. And when they're cut, that results in the symptoms you see that we've talked about in other videos. Personality changes, memory problems, concentration problems, sleep abnormalities, speech abnormalities, you name it. Because those connections are literally cut. They're, they're, they're at such a small level that standard MRI scanning, standard CT scanning does not see at that microscopic level. It's only DTI that can do this indirectly through high technological feats we can indirectly visualize the white matter tracks and therefore see where those are tracks are severed and where there's damage and therefore where there's traumatic brain injury. That's DTI in a nutshell.